Hey, what's up? It's Brandon, author of these books that you see here, and today we're going to be talking about indenting paragraphs. That's right, the exciting world of paragraph indentation. <laughs> this video is uh, was prompted by someone who asked me a question through the comments about how to indent paragraphs, how to use the return or you know the return key when you're entering starting a new paragraph, whether or not you should use the tab key. All of those uh, paragraph indentation related things and we are going to dig into the details right now so let's jump over here to this word document so this the rules and requirements for manuscript formatting can vary depending on what you're planning to do with your manuscript whether you're going to publish it yourself through you know Amazon KDP whether you're going to submit it to a literary agent or a uh, publisher or what what have you but let me just say that if you do the paragraph indentation the way I'm going to show you now in Microsoft Word, this is specific to Word, uh, you can save yourself a lot of headache later on because it will be you'll have more control over your paragraphs and your entire document, and uh, it'll flow better, and it'll probably meet the requirements of you know any person, any group that you plan to submit it to, or even self-publishing it through Amazon or Barnes and Noble. So. Let's start with the basics. Most, uh, you know, people who who receive manuscripts and review them, you know, the standard rule for a novel manuscript is one inch margins all around. So I'm going to go ahead. I went to format and then I clicked on document, and I can see that I got one inch margins all around, top, bottom, left, right, check. So I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to get into the, you know, the part that's specific to the video subject matter and that is the paragraph indentation so what I want in my manuscript is for the first line of each paragraph to be indented uh, you know the amount the size of the indentation can vary depending on you know whatever you're doing with it the standard novel manuscript rule is for uh, half of an inch 0 0.5 inch indentation of the first line that's the first line of each paragraph and I want that to happen automatically. I don't want to have to do it manually. I don't want to hit the worst thing. The worst thing you can do is to hit return at the end of a paragraph and then hit the tab key. Because if you do that, you're not going to have a whole lot of control over the size of your of your indentation. And uh, it can also create some other problems if you self-publish through Amazon and they want a different size for the indentation or you just need bit greater control over your document. The better way to do it, the preferred way, the recommended way is to set from the very beginning a first line indentation and that means that you create a rule up here and we're going to get into that using your formatting options you're going to create a rule that says every time i hit the return key i want you to indent the first line of the next paragraph by blank and in this case we're going to do 0 0.5 inches and i'll show you how to change it so uh the first thing we need to do like i said is go to format we did document already to check the margins they were good we go to paragraph right here, paragraph under the formatting menu item. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to double spacing because I like to work in double spacing when I'm doing a manuscript, um, creating a new novel or whatever. I like double spacing, double line spacing because it's easier on my eyes for to staring at this document. I can see the text better. I can spot typos and issues. So I'm going to click double spacing. And that's something that can be easily changed later if I just do select all. I can change it back to single or whatever. So we're going to start with double. Now, here's the important part for this video tutorial. And that is this part here that says indentation. Um, I'm not going to worry so much about the left, right thing because I don't want to automatically indent the left and right. We handled all that through margins. That's going to control the, you know, the margin on the outside. What I want to do is create a rule so that every time I hit the return key or enter, but mainly the return key, it's automatically going to indent the first line of the next paragraph. So every paragraph will be indented by the same amount, nice and clean, nice and consistent, easy to change later on if I need to. And the way we do that is we, under indentation, we go over here to special, click on it. The default is none, which means it's not going to indent anything. If I hit return, everything is going to be flush left. But what I want to do is first line, and then over here, it gives me some size options and it automatically defaults, defaults to 0 0.5 inch, which is great because that's a common requirement. Now, note the difference here between first line indent and hanging indent. First line indent 
is exactly what it says. Every time I hit return for a new paragraph, it's automatically going to indent just the first line of the next, of the new paragraph. That's what you see when if you go pick up a book off your bookshelf right now, uh, paperback, hardback, doesn't matter. The first line of each paragraph is going to be indented by some amount, whether that's 0 0.2 inches or half an inch. It's going to be indented because that's a visual cue to the reader that this is a new paragraph. And that's what we're setting up here. We're doing that automatically. We're doing it, creating a rule for that. So we don't have to hit the tab key. We don't want to hit the tab key. It gets messy. We're going to create a rule so our document is nice and clean and consistent and easy to change and modify down the road. So hanging indent, on the other hand, is where you have the first line of the paragraph is flushed to the left. And then you hit return and like the next line of the paragraph is indented. And that's not what you do in a novel manuscript. That's something for like a works cited page, you know, in a thesis paper or a bibliography, maybe at the end of a book, a nonfiction book. But for the manuscript, all we're worried about here is this first line indent. We've clicked it. I've set it for 0 0.5 inches. I click OK. All right. So now I'm going to start typing here. Actually, I've copied some text, so I'm just going to paste it in. Uh, this is just some dummy text. As you can see, there's absolutely no reason to read it, so don't get hung up on that. We're just looking at the paragraph here. So automatically, you can see this first line here is intended, indented by 0 0.5 inches or half an inch because I set up the first line indent. I'll show it to you again. Under Format, Paragraph, First Line Indent, it's already set up for half of an inch, 0 0.5. Okay, so now direct your attention to the end of this paragraph. Now, the, the, the bad way to go about it, the sloppy way to go about it, that can be problematic later on, would be for me to hit the return key here and then hit tab to scooch over half of an inch. I don't want to use the tab key. I already have a rule set up, and that way I can change it later on and it makes it nice and easy. So I'm at the end of this paragraph here. I've just finished typing this glorious, glorious paragraph. I'm, I hit the return key, and then you can see it indented for me automatically. Isn't that fantastic? And if I hit it again, the return key again, you know, maybe I'm doing some dialogue here. Dialogue, she said. I hit the return key again. I do another paragraph. You can see what's happening. All of these paragraphs are indented by, uh, the first line of each paragraph, I should say, is indented by half an inch because that's the rule, right, that I set up. And so there's the first line right there. It's indented by half an inch. And then it goes norm and then after that line it goes flush to the left again until I hit return. I'm not using the tab key. I don't have to do the tab key every time. All I have to do is hit return and start typing again. Uh, and it's automatically going to flow the way I want it to. It automatically indents the first line by half an inch. So that's it really. And the benefit of this is so let's say you were gonna self-publish through Amazon, you're gonna do a Kindle ebook. Uh, they recommend 0 0.2 inch for the first line indent of each paragraph. So you're like, oh my gosh, I got to change this whole document. But this is, if you had used tabs for each individual paragraph, it would be challenging to do that. That's why I recommend not using tabs. Um, so all I would have to do is hit Control A or Command A. I'm on a Mac, so I hit Command A. If you're a PC person, Control A, that means select all. And then I could just go to Format, paragraph, same thing as before. Under indentation, I change first line indent from 0 0.5 to the Amazon recommendation of 0 0.2 or whatever I want, really 0 0.3. I, you know, you can type in here directly and make it 0 0.25 because you want a little more indentation maybe on a Kindle. You think it looks better, so you do that. I click OK and then you can watch this first line of each paragraph. Boom, they all shifted to the left a little bit because I changed it from 0 0.5 to 0 0.25. And that's the benefit of setting up these rules in advance is that it's so easy to change them. So if I, you know, uh, if I wanted to change my whole document to single spacing, I would just do control A or command A to select all. I go into my format paragraph box again, click on single space, and now I've got a single space document. All right, it's, it's really that easy. So again, the benefits of using the format paragraph first line indent are that um, it will be easier to work with. You'll have more control over your document. It's easier to change, as you can see. Um, and you won't have a bunch of messy tabs in there that can be problematic. 
later on when you're trying to meet some specific publisher's guidelines or some specific guidelines set by uh, Amazon self-publishing. There you go. If you have any questions like this about this type of thing, I do a lot of like, you know, how to write a novel, actual fiction writing technique. But every once in a while, I like to do these actual technical detail type of videos. This video was created because someone asked me a question through the comments on YouTube. So if you have a question and you want to see a video like this, just, you know, drop, drop it in the comments and I will uh, do a video like this. I'm using Camtasia, by the way, if you're into this, into this kind of thing, you want to geek out with the software. I use Camtasia, which is screen, screen capturing software, super easy, records my screen and then I just upload it to YouTube. But, uh, you know, if you like this, if you like the technical type stuff, if you like the, you know, higher level fiction writing technique, all of that, I pu publish all that through my YouTube channel. So subscribe, uh, click thumbs up so other people can find this video. And I hope this helps you in your fiction writing endeavors. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.